Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of Fundamentals of IoT, in short FIoT. In today's topic, we are going to learn the phases of IoT analytics lifecycle as well as techniques. And we are also going to see the characteristics of IoT generated data. Okay. So let's see the phases one by one. So generally IoT analytics uh, comprises of several phases. Those phases can be data collection, analysis and also reuse okay so let's see the first phase first phase is the iot data collection so the iot data are collected and are uh, uh, enriched with the proper contextual metadata okay so it can be metadata can be in location or some sort of uh, information or uh, time related time steps okay so moreover the data is validated in the terms of sources okay so this particular validated data will be having integrity, accuracy as a, and also consistency, okay? So this phase will be having several IoT analytic challenges. So they also need to uh, ensure the consistency as well as quality. Whatever the data is getting elected, it should be made sure that the data is having consistency that is continuous data is gathered and also there is a quality in data okay so this iot data collection okay represents several peculiarities okay so compared to normal traditional data or the distributed data sources it need to deal with the a mixture of iot streams okay the data will be gathered from different types of sensor so heterogeneous iot streams is considered over here coming to the second phase it is IoT data analysis, okay? So this uh, phase especially deals with the structuring, storage, as well as ultimate analysis of IoT data streams, okay? Later, uh, it also involves in the uh, data mining, machine learning techniques, okay? Such as classification, clustering, and rules mining, all those things will be integrated into this particular IoT data analysis. And coming to the third phase, it is IoT data deployment as well as operationalization or reuse, okay? So as a part of this phase, this particular IoT analytic techniques are actually deployed, okay? So they become mostly operational. So this phase especially will be having visualization of the IoT data, okay, according to the needs of the application. So it enables, it also enables the reuse of the IoT knowledge or data sets, all the data sets which are gathered, okay? It can be reused according to the applications whenever required. Coming to the characteristics of IoT generated data. So the volume and the quality of the data generated by the IoT devices is somewhat different from the normal traditional uh, business data, okay? So there will be integration of several multiple different types of sensors and all the IoT devices will be like in sensor enabled devices, okay? So where IoT data is more dynamic, heterogeneous, as well as imperfect, unprocessed, unstructured, and real time than the typical business setup. So it, because of all these things, it depends more sophisticated IoT. Uh, analytics to make it meaningful, okay? So if you see the graphical representation over here, okay, we can see data in different varieties, okay? Volume, velocity, variety, veracity, okay? Suppose, let us say a data is in rest. So this is how a data in rest is represented with respect to volume. And coming to velocity, velocity in the sense the data is in motion, okay? So uh, streaming of data or uh, responding of the data, okay? Moving of the data from one point to another point, okay? This is how the data in motion is represented, okay? And whatever the data is getting from different types of sensors, the data can be in many forms. So it can be an structured data or unstructured data, or it can be a text or multimedia, okay? different types of data or the different varieties of data is represented like this okay coming to the veracity veracity if the data is uh, incomplete or uh, there is some lot of latency or delay 
or uh, there might be uh, some law, uh, uh, portion of loss or something like that, okay? Uh, inappropriate data. So the data can be considered as data in doubt, okay? That is the veracity and the data in doubt is represented in this manner, okay? So all these things need to be uh, considered, okay? And uh, several uh, uh, big data challenges with, with respect to IoT will be facing. So the IoT faces several kind of big data challenges uh, storing problem, processing problem, all these things will be uh, considered, okay?